Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this one we're going to be checking out all the new creatures coming to Ark in patch 254. It's coming out on January 20th for PC, not sure when it's coming out for console. And uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. This is going to be pretty fantastic. There's seven creatures coming, only six of them are in the dev kit, but we're going to talk about all of them anyway. And uh, before we start, make sure that if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, that you beat the crap out of that like button, it really helps me out. So. First of the creatures is the Ammonite, and I believe I'm saying that right. <laughs> this is a non-tameable sea creature, and it is pretty scary looking. If you go right in here, that looks pretty terrifying. Those teeth are kind of a little bit sharp. Right here, we have some of the animations for it. This one right here is the Call for Help animation. Now, this creature is kind of like the Guardian of the Ocean. If you attack this thing, I guess it does this animation, the call for help animation, and every single creature in the nearby waters will come and attack you because you're hurting him. <laughs> it's kind of like every single creature of the water is like best friends with this thing and uh, everything's willing to protect him for some reason and also if you kill this thing you can harvest up its shell for some rare resources which I'm not sure what they are yet, they have not announced it. But also you can get um, ammonite bile which can be used for what was it again uh new antidotes and stuff yes that, that's what it was for so that might be for some new diseases I'm not sure if that's going to be useful for swamp fever or something new i guess we'll have to wait and see right here we just have its idle animation so you can get a better look at those teeth in there looks pretty freaking cool right i like this thing it's it's got really fluid movements and then this is its forward swim this thing, from what I know, I, I really don't think it's going to be able to hurt you. I think the main defense for this thing is all of its friends coming in to protect it. So, uh, obviously you have to watch out for that. But besides that, like, people are saying you could use these guys for taming some creatures in the water. Because you could just hit one of these things and then it would just bring out everything around. So you could kind of pick and choose and see what you have. I guess, like, maybe if there's some creatures hidden. I don't know. This is just the uh, the model animation right here, so this one doesn't move. It's uh, It's got a lot of detail to it. It's really, really nice. I like the colors, but uh, obviously the size and everything is... Uh, it's obviously up for change. It, it's probably not going to be this exact size. It could be, though. Could be uh, different colors, different shapes. I don't know, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. That is the Ammonite, though. It's, it's pretty cool. Can't wait for that guy. Over here we have the Micro Raptor. Now these things are really small. I thought, like, I knew they were going to be small. I just didn't know that they were going to be this small. This is freaking tiny. You guys will see. I have a compi down the air for some uh, size comparison. So, these guys are super handy for PvP because you can tame them and they kind of, they will just hit the rider, I guess. Um, you can get them to just attack the riders on like large mounts like T-Rexes and, and every mount really but like mainly a T-Rex It's super handy to take out the rider on that But uh, this is it's like gliding animation right here So they have like the little wings that they can glide across with uh, this is its bite animation Pretty cool. I like the feathers looks nice and then this is charging forward Man, those rocks in the background are really, really distracting. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. I like this guy. I th this is its cuddle animation, I believe. Yeah, that's it there. So obviously there's no color on any of these guys, but there is color on one on the end there. This is the egg laying. So you can get eggs from these guys. It's going to be pretty handy because... Uh, obviously not very many of these creatures in this update are actually going to lay eggs. So I think... How many is it? Let me have a look. Yeah, I think it's actually just going to be two of them out of the uh, out of the seven coming. So it's going to be pretty cool. So this is just walk forward. And then this is the roar, I believe. This is pretty cool. I like him. And then this is swimming, which I thought kind of looked a little bit funny. <laughs> Looks like he's dancing, right? I don't know. <laughs> and then this is it with uh, some color, some texture and everything. You guys can see, uh, that looks really nice. I like the eyes, they're a little bit evil. But uh, this is the size comparison with a compi, and you guys know compies are freaking tiny. These things are really, really small. I think this actually might even be the smallest creature in the game. It's a compi, and that's it there. 
as you can see like this one's up in the air and it's <laughs> it's freaking tiny oh my god so that is the micro raptor it's it's useful for for pvp mainly it doesn't really have very many other uses but uh it's pretty cool you're probably gonna be able to pick up these guys as well so that's that's really nice look at them there looks awesome i like the detail especially the teeth they're uh they're really cool looking <laughs> all right so let's move on to the next creature this is the perlovia this is a creature that can hide in the ground as you can see in the background here because he's very he wants everybody to know what he's doing this is him jumping out of the ground as you can see i really like this it's uh it lets off a huge smoke or like dust cloud even like rocks fly everywhere it looks really really cool so as you can see, he kind of just jumps out, his claws go forward to grab you. It's kind of hard to see through the dust, but I can't really do anything about that. Looks super awesome. And then this one right here was just the bite animation. But uh, that guy back there really wanted everybody to see him first, so... Uh, let's actually just slow this down. Let's just see what it looks like in slow-mo. So it's resetting and now it's gonna go. Okay, that looks awesome. And then he, it looks like he kind of just like tears you from side to side a little bit. That's awesome. All right, well, let's put ourselves back into normal motion. There we go. This is its burrowing animation. So this is how it like it gets into the ground. And then uh, it will obviously hide completely underneath the ground, but obviously in the dev kit right now it doesn't actually hide underneath the ground the way I've placed it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully these guys are actually going to be a little bit visible because I'm a little bit scared that uh, I'm not going to be able to walk anywhere without being attacked by one of these things. Like, this is kind of terrifying, right? <laughs> that thing's massive. Oh. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought, but uh, obviously the size could change. So uh, just bear that in mind. This is charging forward. Pretty cool. This is what one was this? I think this might be the cuddle one. No, that's the cuddle one there. I don't know what one this was. I think this is just him jumping. Yeah, no, that's just him jumping. So these guys are non-rideable as well, by the way. That is that's nice. I like that. That's the cuddle one there. <laughs> That is awesome. Um, this is just idle. This is just them chilling, you know. The tail wags and he kind of just breeds. <laughs> this is him jumping as well. This is him uh, landing, I believe, actually. From the jump. Actually, I think that one down there is him pouncing. This is just him walking forward. So, like, really, really scary looking teeth on him there. Gotta say. Looks super awesome though, like, and I'm, I'm really, I wonder if they're going to be this size though as well. Because like, that's, that's pretty freaking big. Um, in comparison, like, that's bigger than a raptor, that's probably not as big as a dire bear, but like, probably almost as wide as a dire bear. Really big though. This is its, uh, pooping animation, I was about to say laying egg, but it's a mammal, it doesn't lay eggs. <laughs> Uh, this is him swimming, which looks super cool as well. So these guys are ambushing creatures. You basically put them into the ground, and uh, they're kind of like landmines, and they can jump, just jump out of the ground and like attack your your enemy or your prey or whatever. So they're pretty cool. They also hibernate when they're in the ground. This is him asleep and eating, which I thought looked really cool too. And then this is just the model, so we can get like a really good look. <sighs> Those teeth, man. Those teeth. Scary. And claws, too. Claws are really scary. But, uh, yeah. So that's that's the Perlovia. Pretty cool creature. Looking forward to getting some of those. Setting up some, some little traps around my base and stuff. So, uh, back onto the next creature here. This is the Baryonyx. And, um, this right here is the bite animation. So, uh, just, uh, just a little bit of a size comparison. A lot bigger than a than a human, and I have a raptor down the end there for some com for some comparison. But uh, these guys are pretty cool. You're gonna be able to ride on these guys. They're mostly gonna be used for getting like fish and prime fish efficiently, and uh, 
that's kind of like the main use as well as like getting around because they're pretty fast on land and in water too so they're going to be like a different version of a capro from what it seems they probably won't have the superpower of actually being able to grab people but uh they might be a little bit faster look at those claws oh wow it's the arms look really derpy by the way in this animation they kind of just they're completely still maybe that's not final looks really derpy though right so yeah this is just a different version of the bite this is him charging forward this looks really cool very very nice these guys are in the same um family tree as like a spino but i believe somebody was telling me that they're from different periods though uh, this right here is the cuddle animation for when you're imprinting. Gets a little bit happy. <laughs> nice. The claws are very, very derpy, but like not as derpy in this one as they are in that one because they're actually moving in this one. So I think maybe this animation down here is probably not final because that that's just looks too weird to me. Like even in all the other ones here, they're actually moving as well. So there has to be something wrong with that other one, the second one in. So these guys are going to be tamed with uh, fish as well. You wouldn't you wouldn't have guessed that, would you? <laughs> this is all they eat. They only eat fish. So uh, you can find these guys at like rivers and probably like in the swamp too, and uh, maybe even on the coast as well, possibly. But uh, definitely in the swamp and in the riverlands too. Super cool. That's just the idle animation. This is the laying egg animation. So two creatures with eggs out of seven, which is kind of, wow. <laughs> Not very much kibble coming out of this update. It's just walking forward and uh, this is roaring, I believe. So they have a roar as well as the bite, possibly two bites as well, actually, because there's like two different ones down there. So yeah, he just does like a little two bit roar, as you can see. And then this is him swimming. Looks It looks really good. I like this one a lot. Looks like he can swim pretty quick too. Kind of scary. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is him just with a saddle on. I put a raptor there for, for some comparison. You can kind of just see that he's like a size between a raptor and a carno. Um, I probably should have gotten in a carno too, but yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the size comparison there, so... You can see like the raptor, like he's kind of hunched forward a little bit, but the raptor's like head is almost like at the, well, it's pretty much at the, at the back there. The raptor's basically the size of the creature up to its back, but his head can extend up, as you can see in a lot of these animations. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. This is his saddle too, so it goes into his mount like that. Mount on the back there, lots of lots of detail here too. Looks really good. Really excited for this creature, he's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one here. So this is the Basilosaurus, I believe. That's how you say his name. And uh, this thing is freaking cool. This is his bite animation. Uh, let's just, uh, let's get a little bit of a fly on here. So this guy is going to be found in the ocean, obviously. And uh, you're only going to really be able to be able to find these guys in the shallow waters because they cannot survive in deep waters because they can, they just can't handle the pressure with their uh, blubbery body. <laughs> so they're kind of like, people were saying they're kind of like an early game tame. I really don't agree with that because if you want to tame one of these guys, you have to actually, basically they, they don't finish their meals and then a bunch of creatures follow them. And if you try to tame one of these guys, all those creatures are going to aggro onto you. So this is far from an early game tame. Or probably even an early game kill too. Because with all those creatures following you, maybe even if you kill one of these guys, they will aggro on you. But uh, these guys are going to be super handy to actually kill because they they will drop a, uh, a blubber. Which can be used to craft a very advanced and efficient version of gasoline. Which is going to be pretty handy. So yeah, this one right here was just the, uh, I believe, just the idle 
animation this is moving forward very very fluid it looks great let's get the little what are they those things are called like barnacles right looks great very very cool and then this is just him like downed he's unconscious here there wasn't a whole lot of animations for this guy and then this is him being tamed and then this is him with the saddle which looks great <laughs> very excited for this guy he's uh he, they're gonna be handy for killing I'm not excited to tame them it's, it kind of sounds like a bit of a um, bit of a waste of a uh, of a pretty cool looking creature I mean that the taming for it just does not excite me at all it just sounds kind of bleh you know they're, they can't go into the deep ocean so what is the point of really taming one is my question unless they can unless you can like progressively harvest the blubber from them but that's kind of like killing them I, I don't understand either way like I'm excited to kill some and get some new gasoline oh wow <laughs> looks great looks awesome and the saddle looks really cool as well actually gotta say it looks like you're probably gonna lie down on top of him and he's got little uh little hand pieces there saddles very cool though I gotta say it looks great and the colors as well looks really cool I mean like the whole model looks really cool but like I kind of feel like it's wasted on this creature maybe it's gonna turn around and actually be a really good creature in terms of like speed and everything but really not excited to tame them they they really they don't excite me at all let me know what you guys think of them though and uh, let's move on to the last creature here so how do you say this one again Ty wait what was that Tyla Cole Leo Tyla Cole Leo I maybe I don't know it's a big kitty <laughs> Uh, so this is um, this is all I have for you like there's no animations or anything I have a dire bear in here for size comparison pretty much like the same size as like a dire bear almost dire bear is a little bit taller a little bit wider but like pretty much the same weight class as a dire bear in terms of the game and uh, the only addition since the last time I showed you guys one of these was the saddle so you can see that now there is a saddle the saddle does not have texture so considering what this guy can do and I should probably explain what's, what this guy can do he can climb trees and ambush you and you when you're riding on him you can also climb the trees with him like you, you can be on his back and he can be like mounted up on a tree probably like a tapajara and uh, you can just lunge down at like creatures or, or players or whatever and just kill them and he's also gonna be able to lock you in with those jaws too so it's gonna probably be a little bit like the megalosaurus or the capro so uh yeah this is this is gonna become a little bit of a threat <laughs> but uh th um i'm kind of a little bit nervous that we're not gonna actually get this guy in time i actually never checked down there what's it look like let's get out of fly mode kind of a little bit nervous that we're not gonna get this guy because there's no animations I mean the saddle doesn't have texture but that's not a huge issue but like no animations no nothing maybe they're just still working on them but at the same time I mean the texture and everything is, is done so that's a positive thought but um at the same time like the no animations if they're still working on them fair enough but like they're pretty close to release on this guy and uh, if there's nothing in the dev kit so far it makes me a little it makes me just slightly nervous pretty much but uh, I don't know we can always just hold out hope that they actually do get him in for the next update because I really want to play with this guy he looks great and uh, just being able to climb up trees sounds amazing so uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it guys that is all of the creatures um, as well there's also the the sheep which is coming to you're gonna be able to harvest wool off of this guy you can be able to like cook mutton as well um, there is some pictures I'll throw them up, the, up on the screen right now and the dossier too and um yeah that's that's pretty much it like it's a pretty cool looking creature i can't wait to see it and um it was originally only going to come to the game if they won that award but they got a little bit of backlash from that and i don't agree with that like it was i mean <laughs> they didn't do anything wrong <laughs> uh people were just so salty when it comes to arc sometimes but um yeah th so they they've since announced that we're actually going to get the creature anyway which is which is pretty cool. I'm I'm happy with that. 
because I'm not sure if we would have won that award with all the backlash. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for today. As well as all this, there is the tech tier, which is coming soon. I've done a bunch of videos on that. I really don't feel like covering that one more time, just blabbering on and on and dragging out the video. You guys can hear about all that. I have like a bunch of videos. I'll link them down below if you guys want to hear about all that stuff. But yes, anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you beat the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. You can subscribe. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Ha <laughs> ha.